Hi everyone, this is Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make some Christmas gift tags. This is going to be a very fun project for you to do or if you have little ones to uh, do it together. So I'm using this Kinsen watercolor paper. It's 9x12. You can use whatever type of watercolor paper you have. And I am using this Angora watercolor palette. So obviously you can use you know whatever brands of watercolor you have. And I'm using a water brush. A regular brush would be just fine. And I'm also having a pencil just to do some sketch. And I'm also going to use this washi tape to divide this paper into smaller tags. So how I do that is I just um, divide the paper into a three into three by three grid. You can measure them if you want all the tags to be the same size, but I don't really care. So you know I kind of want them to be various size. And then the first one, I'm going to do a Christmas tree in the center, but I would like to have a border along the tag, so I'm just going to color them. And then on the second one, I want to do a night uh, evening, like a night sky. So I'm just going to do a blue wash with some purple, green, and um, yellow at the on the top. So this is uh, just make sure you have a lot of water when you're doing any kind of you know, wash, uh, nice guy wash. And they might not look so good when they're wet, but you know once they dry, they will be just fine. The third one, I'm going to do a lot of gift boxes. So I'm just you know, using my pencil to sketch out a lot of different squares and rectangles and then color them with different patterns and uh, different shades. So the fun thing with using watercolor uh, is that you can really be loose, so you don't have to be perfect. You know, that's not meant, you know, that's not how watercolor meant to be. So, you know, just be, uh, just be very free on however you're drawing. Let the color do its thing. And I like to have borders on each one, so later on when I need to cut them, I know exactly where the edges are. So a good thing about you doing these nice little paintings all at the same time is you can, while you're waiting for one to dry, you can work on the other one. So uh, you have like nine different little projects going on at the same time. So some of them I use a lot of leaves and then the one with a lot of color dots is going to be Christmas lights. Since they are just gift tags, so you don't have to worry about them to be perfect, you know, to be the masterpiece. But with your know, handmade gift tag, it's really going to add a special touch to the gift. So as you can see here, I'm finishing up with writing the to and from lines. And I'm using a black pen to add the details. I think with watercolor and black pen, it's a really good combination um, to just make your drawing pops. So here we have it. We have nine gift tags and I'm just adding up some details with like snow uh, flakes with a white, um, white pen. And now we're you know, removing the tapes and you can see why I do the borders because now as I'm removing this tape with the edge uh, colored, it's very easy to see where I'm going to need to cut these tags. And because I'm using washi tapes, uh, they are not very tacky like regular tape, so they won't damage the paper. But if you don't have washi tape, you can use a drafting tape, masking tape, um, any sort of tape. Just make sure you tape it on your clothes for a couple times to remove the tackiness. That way you won't damage the paper. And I'm going to cut these tags up. I have a paper trimmer, so it's a lot easier when I need to do stuff like this. If you don't have one, you can just use a you know exacto knife or even just use a scissor too, um, because now we have the edge of each tag, so it's easy to just follow the the edge. So I'm just using this three-hole puncher to punch a hole on the top. 
And if you want to make these tags look you know, more like gift tags, you can cut off the corners on the top so they have that classic um, tag looking shape. I also have this round corner cutter. If you happen to also have one, this is the perfect place to use it. So I hope you like this project. As you can see, it's quite simple. They turn out to look a lot more complicated than it really is. And I think this is just going to make your gift look that much special and unique. So I hope you give it a try and let me know how yours turned out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.